In this video, we will look at how to graph a transformed function using points of the original function. So I prepared a transcript that I'm going to walk through with you in this video. So the original function is f of x equals x squared, and the transform function is a transformation of this original function x squared. We have a um, vertical transformation here, a horizontal transformation, a scaling transformation, and a reflection across the x-axis here. So how we can do this with points is um, start with points from the original function x squared that we're transforming to get gx, the function gx. So we start with f of x and points from f of x. So if f of x is x squared, then points that are on the graph of x squared are 0, 0, 1, 1, negative 1, 1, 2, 4, negative 2, 4. These would all be points on the graph of x squared. When we're doing the transformations, we're going to work inside, start from the inside and work our way out. So we'll start with this um, horizontal transformation. So this, when we're subtracting 2, we're actually transforming and moving the function to the right two places. And since we're going to the right, we're going to add 2 to each vec x value of the point. So here the x value is 0, so we add 2 and we get the new point 2, 0 here. So this is how 0, 0 gets transformed on the graph of this function here. If we're going to have a horizontal transformation to the right two places. We'll add 2 to the x value of this point. It was 1, so we add 2 and get this new point, 3, 1. So notice just the x values are changing here because we're just doing a horizontal transformation. So this, it was negative 1, we add 2, and it changed to 1, 2, add 2. This x value changed to 4. This x value changed to 0 because we added 2. So now we have the points, what they represent on this transform function when, when we shift when we shift x squared to the right two places, these points here become these points here. Okay, so then the next part of the transformation is negative 2 times the function. So what we're doing here, since f of x represents the y values of the function, we're going to be multiplying each y value by negative 2 in our points. So the point 2, 0, we multiply the y value 0 by negative 2 and we get the point 2, 0 because 0 times negative 2 is just 0. Multiply this y value by negative 2 and we get 3, negative 2. Notice that we're, we're taking the points from this transformation because we're, we're taking this transformation here, what, what f of x is now times negative 2 so the points that we have here after this transformation, we're multiplying by the function. This, if, if we're assuming this is the function now, to get the new points. So here the y value changed, um, multiplying by negative 2. We got negative 2. 1 by negative 2 is negative 2. 4 by negative 2 would be negative 8. 4 by negative 2 would be negative 8. So now we have these points after the second transformation. Um, of the function. So this is negative 2 times x minus 2 squared. Okay, now we want to take the function and add 4. So we're taking what we have here in the previous column and we're now going to shift it up a vertical transformation four places. And since we're adding 4 to the output we're going to add 4 to the y value. So we had, whoops, that doesn't, that shouldn't say that. It should say 0 plus 4, so we get 2, 4. And it was negative 2 plus 4 would lead us to 
2 and the y value, negative 2 plus 4 leads us to the y value 2. Negative 8 plus 4 is the y value negative 4, and negative 8 plus 4, because we're adding 4 to each y value for this vertical transformation, the shifting up 4 places. And we get this, these points here. So how does this look on the graph? So these points should represent the points that we need to graph this transform function. So how does this look on the graph? Well here, graphing the blue graph would be the original function x squared. So this represents f of x equals x squared. And the green is our transformed function here. So this green represents the transform function and all these points that are labeled are the, the new points that we, that we got in our table above. All these points, those are the new points we got from our table. <clears throat> and um, looking at the graphs, we can see, like if this was the original, we can see that this point zero, zero shifted to the right two places and up four places. So there's our horizontal transformation two places and our vertical transformation four places up. And we can also see that here it's opening up and now it's opening down. The negative is what made it flip over so that it was opening downward and then it also had a uh, vertical stretching when we uh, multiplied by 2. So that's why this one is a little bit narrower, it looks a little bit narrower than the original function. So that's what it, what it does, how the transformation of a function works. That's how you graph it with transforming points.